and I am so excited to have you here with me for today's daily discovery with FC Mod. Today we'll be exploring how you can be a health hero just by washing your hands. Have you ever done a craft with glitter before? If so, you know that it's easy to get glitter everywhere, even when you're trying to be careful. There's another word that starts with G, germs, that's also easy to spread everywhere. Germs are microbes that can make people sick. Although we can't see germs with our eyes alone, if you've ever been homesick with a cold or the stomach flu, then you've experienced germs before. Germs are a natural part of life, but it's important that we do what we can to prevent the bad ones in order to keep ourselves and others healthy. Let's see just how fast germs can spread using the other G word, glitter as an example. Let's say that I sneeze into my hand and they're covered in glitter germs. What happens when I continue my day without washing my hands? Let's find out. the best way to wash your hands to keep this from ever happening again. Washing off glitter, just like washing off germs, takes some diligence and practice. So let's do three different experiments to find out what the best way is to wash our hands. Experiment number one, we'll wipe them down with just a paper towel. Experiment number two, we'll do a quick rinse with just water, and experiment number three, we'll wash our hands for 20 seconds with soap and water. So first I want you to make a hypothesis. What do you think will happen? What do you think the best method will be for getting all this glitter off my hands? Go ahead and make your hypothesis and we'll get started. Our first experiment is wiping down my hands with just a paper towel. So I'm gonna grab a paper towel from over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe. And you can see after using that paper towel, I still have quite a bit of glitter on my hands. Now we're ready for experiment number two. First, I'm gonna spend just a minute re-glittering my hands because we wanna make sure that our experiment has the same conditions every time. So we start off the same way. So my hands are going to be just as glittery as they were with that first experiment. Just a little bit more here. All right, I think that I think that's pretty close to what we had last time. So this time around, I am just going to do a quick rinse under the sink here. So let's see what happens. All right, I rinsed. It looks like I still have quite a bit of glitter on my hands. For this third experiment, I am going to wash my hands for 20 whole seconds. So let me re-glitter my hands real quick. That's a pretty good amount of glitter there. And I'll turn on the sink, rinse my hands under there, get some soap, and we can count to 20 together. Rinsed. Now I'm gonna get some soap. And I turned off the faucet so that we don't waste any water while we're scrubbing. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. All right. You noticed I tried to I tried to get my fingers between my fingers, my wrists, the backs of my hands, my fingernails. You want to make sure that you get 
all the different parts of your hand when you wash your hands. All right, my hands are all rinsed now and it looks like they're glitter free. It seems to me like the best way to get all the glitter off of my hands was our third experiment, using soap and water for 20 whole seconds. And it turns out that's what experts recommend that you do all the time to get rid of germs, especially after you cough or sneeze or use the restroom and before you eat. So make sure that you wash your hands for 20 seconds with soap and water and you can be a health hero. Thank you all for joining me and Fort Collins Museum of Discovery today. I hope that you enjoyed our time learning and discovering more together. For more fun and exploration, visit the museum's website at fcmod.org programs for a new activity or video each day. See you then.